Good morning! This is a short introduction to the Introduction to Theater class, fall semester at Indiana University East. So I'm open to our home page on Canvas. Over on the left is a menu that has different tabs of elements of the class that you are going to want to access, like announcements, syllabus, modules, etc. It's all right here, the, all the things you will need. And then here in the center, you will see um, this is really what the announcement system uh, will be for me. So I like to update everything here instead of giving you a separate tab so that when you open up the class, you will see if there's anything new. So be sure to check the home page frequently. So here's my welcome. Um, there's a module we'll go to in a minute that will show you how to get started with things. Um, a note about Microsoft Word, you're going to need to use that, and but you can get it free as an IU student. And if you have need technical help, please get a hold of these people at uh, the Help Live, IT Help Live, because I would not be able to steer you in the right direction for any problems with technical things. So they're open 24 hours for chatting, and please go to them first. Okay, so that's the welcome page, and then later on you're going to see other announcements placed above this. So let's take a look at um, the syllabus page. There we go. Okay, so now here you can download it if you just press on it. Or when you see an icon like this next to it, that means it will preview for you in this window. So I've chosen to open the preview, and here's what everything looks like. So we have the syllabus. There are a lot of features in it, and you do need to read it. You do need to think about it, and note that there are places in it that give you rules and regulations for not just my class but for the university. So because you have this and you agree to be in the class, then you have to abide by these rules. Um, on a lighter note, it's pretty easy to get through right now. Um, I do have a place where I'm showing you how our general education outcomes are going to be addressed during the course. And you will note that there are two assignments, one at about week, I don't know, week nine, I think it is, and then one at the end that we will use to assess how successfully that you have attained mastery of some of these outcomes. So hopefully you'll have a way to measure beyond your grade um, if you've gotten out of the class what we hope you do. So you'll notice then, here's the required materials, grading schemes, course policies on late work, quizzes, what all these things are about. You're going to need to be looking at all this. At the bottom, then, the last couple of pages, I have a blurb about me, a little biography. Um, here is the schedule for the course. Sometimes I might change things around, but I hardly ever do. So. You can be assured if you print this out, we're going to go stick with it pretty closely. If there are changes made in due dates, then I would make sure everyone knows about that through uh, an update on the home page and maybe even through a class email. Important dates and deadlines are at the bottom. Okay, so you will need to print this out and keep it with you and uh, refer to it often. The next thing I wanted to show you is the section here called modules. This is really the lifeline to the course. So they are uh, they are organized in a certain way. This first one is kind of an orientation module. If you want to go through some of these things you can. They um, just help you navigate Canvas a little better. Um, you don't have to but they're there as a courtesy to you if you need more support with Canvas. So our first module is called Welcome and Start Here, and then after that it's divided into units. So we have Unit 1, Week 1, then we have 
unit one, week two, etc., all the way down to the end of the semester. I try to get these units, uh, these modules open a little bit ahead of time. So right now you're going to see, I think, about the first four weeks up. And before we get to the end of that, I will make sure that you have more work ahead. So when you go, when you open the module, you'll want to come here. And it's going to take you to this page that talks a little bit again about um, what is happening in this class. There is a PDF document that talks about a lot of the things I'm talking about on this video, so you can refer back to that. Here's a link to that video that I'm making right now. Um, the syllabus has a link here. Here's uh, another link to get back to week one module, so another way just to get there if you need to. Also, I do want to point out that um, I have scanned in the first three chapters of the textbook, so chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. They're not a great scan, but if you haven't had the time or the inclination yet to purchase a textbook, these will get you through the first two weeks. But please note that's all that I can do legally, is just those three chapters. So don't ask me for more. You need to get the textbook. Okay, so let's go to, let's just use this to take us to our, our Unit 1, Week 1 module again. And here we are. So if I open that one up, then it shows you what you have to do each week. It'll give you due dates, discussions. It tells you a little, the first couple of modules I put in, how to engage in successful discussions. So you can look through that. And then down here, um, I always have a read and study section. It shows you which chapters in the textbook you'll be needing to, to uh, learn about the material for that week. And then there's a reading and study guide. If you click on that, I've already done that, so let me open it up here. What this reading and study guide does is show you the main ideas from these chapters that I want you to know. So for example, um, here you can look in chapter two, what is theater as cult culture ex cultural expression? What does that mean? Um, what are some business practices in the theater? And then this one is going to be really important because you will be doing a plot analysis assignment, and we'll be talking about this. So you've got to make sure that in the textbook you study these terms, you understand what these terms are, and then you're going to apply them to a short play and make a little plot analysis. Um, quizzes. All quizzes are going to include multiple choice and true and false questions. They're based on the reading and assignments listed above. So when you do a quiz, think of it as a little activity rather than as a quiz, because you have three attempts at the quiz. It's open book, open notes. Um, the main purpose for this is for you to dig a little deeper and make sure that you have these concepts down. So I'm not going to be testing your memory, but we will be just giving an indication of are you understanding the concepts. Okay, so there's the reading study guide, what it looks like. Most of them, after this first one, have uh, quite a bit more detail in them, so you'll see that as you progress. Okay, so back to the module. Again, the module is another place where everything is just shown to you what you need to do for the week. And there are always links to the, the assignment or the quiz or whatever. So, for example, quiz one is right here. Now, I am in an instructor mode, so it's going to look different for you. But it'll open up to quiz one, and then it'll give you uh, a menu here about where you can start the quiz. OK, I'm going to go back to the module. Um, now, for example, when you get ready to do this unit one trifles plot assignment, Again, I'm describing it for you here, and I've also included a, screen, a screencast where I use the movie The Wizard of Oz as an example of trying to figure out the parts of the plot. So this will be one way for you to, to learn a little bit more about that plot. Okay, so I'm not going to go through any more modules, but they're all here for all the weeks. 
Assignments, like I said, you can either get to them here in your modules or you can just click on Assignments itself and find the ones that are due. So your first one is going to come up here. You can open it up just like I did a minute ago and it will give you directions and also the place where you need to submit this. So these need to be submitted, assignments need to be submitted as Microsoft Word files. This is why you need to have Microsoft Word. And it's very easy to figure out where to put things once you open it up. That's assignments, discussions. So they're called forum discussions. Um, that's their formal name. Some people just call them discussions. So here's your first one. And the first one is really meant to be an introduction to the class and also be kind of a low stakes assignment so you can navigate discussions. So basically you're going to talk to us about what have, has been your involvement in theater. Maybe you just like to watch plays. Maybe you've never seen a live play. Maybe you've acted since you were three years old. Um, so just give us a little bit about that. Make an initial post and then posts are always due. The initial posts are always due on Thursday. That's where you make um, a quick um, well, you talk to us briefly about your in, about the prompt. I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied here. The prompt that you have for the week. So you make an initial post about it, your thoughts about it, what you see about it. You post it, and then by Sunday, you will be looking at other people's posts and respond to three of your peers. So you'll see how to do that once you open the discussion and start posting. Here's quizzes. We've already kind of looked at that. Grades, here you can find out what's going on um, as far as how you're doing in the class. People, this is a class list, so if you want to get a hold of someone, you can uh, find their IU email here. Um, if you just want to look at all the general files, you can do that, but I always give you links to them in, in the modules. This library guide. You'll have to go open it in a new tab, but it'll show you how to do that. Um, this is for our class in particular. And you'll be using this for different assignments. Um, for example, under these documentaries, one of the first things you're going to be reading is looking at um, some videos about ancient Greek theater. So once you get here, you can look at it. And that will help you with one of the discussions. So I will always give you instructions to go here when you need to. Okay, let's go back out of this. And then I just wanted to show you that um, if you want to record your name for me so I know how to pronounce it, all you have to do is click on this and it'll give you like a 10 second recording and you record your name and that way I will know how to pronounce it. I guess it doesn't matter quite as much if we're on an online class, but it helps me to kind of know you a little better. So that's the overall idea uh, of how the class works. I'll take us back to home. If you have any questions at all, please use the email settings on the end. Oh, you have to go all the way over here to find the inbox. It's right here. And you can email me or anyone else in the class by going to the inbox. Uh, finding our class, which is going to be fall right here. And then you can pick the person that you want to email um, and it'll, sh it'll take you through everything. So be sure to let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Um, I try to get online every day, but I don't always make it on both days on the weekends. So I strive to make sure that like 12 and between 12 and 24 hours does not go by before I look online. So I'm always here to help or to clarify things, and I'm looking forward to sharing my passion about theater with you this semester. Bye.